to get ready. The maid of honor and the best man could not be late for this dinner. Can you help? Oh, I can do that. Zip up, zip oh, up. up. No, no, no. <laughs> you need to get ready. Oh. Look who thinks she can boss me around. It's been three weeks. Suddenly she's acting like she's my uh, what? girlfriend. <laughs> I am not. Yeah, you are. And I like it. Oh, we're gonna be late. Oh, we're gonna be late. Oh. The night before a wedding is like the calm before the storm. Everyone knows what's coming and the part they will play. <laughs> The alcohol is arriving at 11.30 tomorrow morning, so if you could clear a space in the fridge for the white wine. Okay, Sam, you need to be relaxing right now. There comes a time to relinquish control. Whatever will be, will be. And I will take care of it. Barb, the brisket is delicious. Oh, thank you, Tanya. I'm glad you're enjoying it. And your two daughters, they both look so beautiful. Mm -hmm. Hey, Mom, can you pass the kugel, please? Josh, you sure lucked out with this one. Yeah. And Erica, from everything Sam tells us, you'd be a hell of a catch. I bet someone will snap you up quick. Oh, someone already has. Didn't you notice? <clears throat> she and Rai Rai arrived looking a little disheveled. Really? <laughs> no. <laughs> the best man and the maid of honor. Well, I'm only the mother, the last one to know. Mom, there is nothing to know. Don't guilt her out, Herb. She's entitled to a private life. I wasn't guilting her, no care. I'm just giving you the heads up, Barb and Gary. First set of grandkids might be coming from these two. Josh. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> and shouldn't we be talking about the bride and the groom? I'd like to make a toast. Great. Mm. I used to wonder how on earth my scrawny best friend here could ever score a girl like Sam. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, you are gracious, intelligent, and beautiful. Here, here. I've met a lot of women in my life, and I can honestly say you are one in a million. I don't know how you got so lucky, bro, but I'm glad you did. All the best. Cheers. Cheers. To Cheers. Sam. Cheers. Cheers. Very nice day, sir. Would you like to say something? Oh. I don't really do improv. <laughs> oh, come on, sweetheart. Say something about your brother-in-law. Don't pressure her, Barb. If she doesn't want to. I just thought it'd be nice, Gary. Okay, no, it's fine. It's fine. Um, <clears throat> okay. Josh is a real character. <laughs> and he, he always has been. Um, he has a really unique sense of humor, and he's always trying to entertain us with uh, comments that are supposed to be funny. Sometimes they even are. <laughs> um, and he is known for just telling it like it is, whether you like it or not. So here's to the uh, bride and groom. <laughs> cheers, cheers. 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 Sam, I'm so sorry. I was just, I was really nervous and I wasn't ready. I know you were nervous, but I want tomorrow to go well. And if you don't feel like you can make a speech, no, then... I will. I will have a beautiful speech ready for tomorrow. And I will manage the cake and a DJ and a seating. And you don't have to worry about a thing. Come on, Sam, let's go. You can yak with your sister tomorrow. Okay, just give me a second. No, I'm tired. I want to leave. Just grab your purse so we can go home, get to bed, get up, and get married. Get this whole thing over with. I'm just kidding. It's an unspoken rule that on the day of the wedding, we must put away any worry, any secret lingering doubts. But what do you do if you can't shake the feeling that someone you love is about to make a terrible mistake?
speech is killing me. Wrote mine two weeks ago. Took me an hour. Oh, that's great. Good for you. Super duper. Don't overthink it. Say some nice things about the happy couple. Wish them well. And what, do you hate Josh or something? No. Why would you even say that? Well, your toast last night was a little... Oh, well, I was, I was trying to be funny. No, you weren't. You don't think Josh is good enough for your sister, right? No, that's not it. It's just... Their relationship, it makes no sense to me. They've been together for years. So? They fight all the time, and when they're not fighting, they just... They're... They're uncomfortable just being together. I mean, haven't you ever noticed that? No. But I'm not around a whole lot. Have you told Sam? No. <laughs> God, no. That's not something you just say to someone. I'm not an expert on this, but watching two people tells you nothing about what goes on behind closed doors. So just because it doesn't make sense to you doesn't mean it doesn't work. Mmm, coconut. And moisturize. <laughs> Stop it. Okay, you need to control you yourself. You taste like a pina colada. Well, there she is. Surprise! I came in for the wedding. Uh, oh. Are, the, are we all well? It's really? Uh, <laughs> uh, how, are, how are you? Good, really. Wonderful. Great. Ryan, right? Oh my god, I'm so sorry, Ryan. Um, this is, uh, this is Claire. Hi. Um, Ethan's Hi. wife. Hey. Is that your Harley outside? Yeah, she's mine. Hey. I almost bought one. But uh, this one here talked me out of it. Is that right? Yeah, she uh, she hates them. Says they're noisy and dangerous. <laughs> well, they are. But sometimes you just gotta throw caution to the wind and live your life, right? Exactly. Mm. We drove downtown yesterday. She handled herself like a bro. <laughs> really? Erica on a bike? Um, I hate to interrupt, but we should probably get going. We're gonna be late. Oh, uh, sorry. No, don't be sorry. It's just we have you know maid of honor and best man duties, so. Uh, but I'll, I'll, uh, I'll see you at the wedding. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Bye. See ya. Great. Whoops. So, here we go. Here we go. This way. Okay, thanks. Hi there. Oh, perfect. Chairs, they go out in the back underneath the tent. Judith can show you. Oh, yep. This Hi, little baby. Um, perfect. Booze goes right in there. Um, Aunt Roberta, wine is incoming. Did I hear someone say wine? Josh, outside. If you see her in her dress... I'm gonna see her every day for the rest of my life. Where's my buxom bride, anyway? She's upstairs getting her hair done. Excuse By me. My stylist who's very... No, okay, the fruits, they go on the counter, and the aioli goes in the fridge. Mom, can you please help You look them? good. I saw you and Ryan on the bike this morning all cozy. You! Out of here. You know, as my best man, you're supposed to be nice to me. I'm your wingman. I say it's time to go. Oh, hi there. Perfect. Flowers. I'm right this way. Judith, can you put... Oh, perfect. And all the vases are stacked up in the garage. Okay, just call me if you need anything. Oh, great. Thanks, Lynn. You guys good? Everything's great, Erica. Oh, you're in a tight ship, Erica Strange. <laughs> you know, if this publishing job doesn't work out, you could totally be a party planner. Oh, yeah. Well, the last party I held, I bailed on. Stop it. You know, this is going to be great. It is, right? Yeah. I just, I really want it to be perfect. It will. For Sam. Ha, uh, excuse me. Did you guys get the seating plan? It's three, then four, then four. Oh, you know what? Take five. I'm gonna handle this. Get him back. Thanks, dude. Get him back. <laughs> get him back. What are you doing? <laughs> hey, you're in big trouble, Mr. Hey, what are you doing? Hey. Get it back. You guys, careful. Uh, Okay? No. Jeez, Josh, guys. let the woman do her job, okay? Why don't we get those bikes that you wanted? I was thinking, come with you with your boys around? Yeah. Why don't you come too? Oh, no, I don't think so. It would make Sam happy. Yeah. This bike kicks ass. Hey, Josh, do you, uh, do you mind if I ask you a couple questions for my speech? Sure. Uh, okay. Tell me about the first day that you met Sam. Um, don't remember. Um, okay. Um, is there a, is there a moment or even a day when you realize that you loved her? What, uh, like an exact day? I don't know. Hey! 
I, I want one with Erica and me on the bike with uh, my guys around. Why? I mean, I, I just, I really don't think that that's uh, like appropriate. Oh, come on, Sam's gonna love it. It works for me too. Nothing is hotter than a chick on a bike. Come on. Please, come on. Eh, it's a little weird, but okay, fine. I mean, if you, you think that Sam will get a kick out of it. Oh. Good? Yeah. Okay, right. just be careful. Oh. 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 Shush. Shit. Hold still for the oxy, honey. This stuff is magic. I'm telling you, soda water and lemon juice will take this right out. I am not letting you put lemon juice on her dress, Roberta. It's not that bad. No one will ever notice. Gary, get out of the kitchen. Guys. Erica, can you come to my room? Okay, please help me. Go upstairs and find what she needs, but just not a word about this, okay? Uh, I'm not good at lying. Lisa. Oh, my God. Maybe she should try wearing it inside out. Are you insane? Mom. Hand me the scissors. No. Yes? Okay. Hand me the scissors. What's going on? Everything's fine. They're taking care of it. Did you need something? Taking care of what? Nothing. Can you cut a straight line? You can do it. OK. Oh, it's oh my just God. so much better. <laughs> Sam, just stay, stay in there. Sam, don't. All the shouting and screaming is worse than Cousin Max's bris. Lisa, how does it look? Oh, it's much better in my opinion. How many times do I have to tell you to stay outside? What happened? <gasps> what are you doing here? You're not supposed to see me. Oh. No, I didn't see anything. You did. OK, I saw your hair. And, and now I know what you're going to look like uh, at your mom's age. <gasps> he gave me this comparison. Oh, no. Oh, no. Sam, sweetheart. Well, it wouldn't be a wedding without a little drama. Do you? Hey. 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 OK, come here and sit. I'm going to fix your hair. Sit, sit, sit. It's gonna be fine, Sam. We're gonna figure out the pictures, right? I'll, um, I'm gonna stand behind Mom, and you won't see a thing, I promise, okay? All right, let's see here. Just take this piece down. Let's see. You put that to the side. I think that looks really pretty. Okay, and, hmm, as for the Barbara Strange hair, let's see. Take this out. And, voila, I mean, what do you think? It's, it's a much better thing. <laughs> oh, Sam, you're still not happy. I mean, what, what can I do to make you happy? Is it, is it my dress? No. No. It's not the dress. It's just... I have this horrible feeling in my stomach, and I don't know if it's nerves or something more. Tell me that I'm crazy, that everything's going to be fine. Just tell me I'm doing the right thing. Okay, what, are, what are you saying, Sam? Are you, are you having doubts? I need you to convince me right now that I'm doing the right thing, marrying Josh. Sam. I, I, uh, I just, uh, people have doubts all the time, right? I mean, if uh, everybody gets cold feet. Yeah. Yeah. I know. You're right. It's normal. It's just the stress of everything. Of course. Of course. Yeah. Uh. After this is all over, we should go for drinks and laugh about how insane I was. <laughs> this looks good. Go downstairs. People are going to start arriving soon. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Erica. 
Tell Josh I'm sorry for freaking out, okay? Oh, thank you. The most exhausting thing in life is being insincere. Anne Morrow Lindbergh. I'm not being insincere. I am doing my job as the maid of honor to help my sister have the wedding that she has always wanted. Did you know that the custom of bridesmaids originated in ancient Rome? It says in here that apparently the reason that they were all dressed the same was in order to ward off evil spirits. That's interesting, huh? That your job is to protect the bride? No offense, but I really don't want a history lesson right now. Please, just send me back. Okay. Any idea where you might be going? August 2003, getting Sam and Josh back together. Wow, good guess. So what happened? All right, um, I'd invited Sam and Josh over for dinner to celebrate her first day of residency. And Josh, he showed up an hour late and Sam wanted to kill him. And it just, ugh, degenerated from there. He broke up with her on the spot and it was the one and only time that they had ever split. And even though I secretly knew and felt that it was for the best, I just, I couldn't stand to see Sam upset, so the next day I showed up on his doorstep and I convinced him that he was making a mistake, that, you know, that it wasn't worth it all the years that they'd had together. And oh, I just, I so wish that I would have stayed out of it. I mean, they broke up, they were over. And now it's too late. I mean, she's getting married in a few hours and there's nothing I can do about it. It's never too late. Well, you had a chance just now to tell her how you feel, but you didn't. Why? Because you, you, you don't tell someone that they might be making a mistake on their wedding day. Oh, I see. Is that because it's not convenient or it's not true? Oh, well, you, you don't know my sister. She was not asking for the truth. She wanted reassurance. Hmm. And you just gave her that. But now you're telling me you want to go back in time and break them up, so I'm sorry. I'm a little confused. Look, Sam and Josh broke up, and they would have stayed that way if I hadn't interfered. So if I could... If I could do it over, I would stay out of it and let it end the way it should have. Whoops. I think that tonight of all nights, you'd actually be on time. I told you there's an accident on Bloor. An, an accident? Is it like a 50-car pileup? Oh, here, Sam. There was a car and a motorcycle, and all four lanes were, were and, shut down. And who down. takes Bloor Street in rush hour? Not unless... Oh, unless what? You know what? Or who? You read into everything. I'm not. I can't take a dump without you mentioning Laura. How many times I've got to tell you, nothing is going on. Whatever, Josh. I'm sure that's true. Just just like I'm sure there was an accident. Oh, God. Anyone just... for uh, seconds? <laughs> not until your sister stops acting like a total bitch. I'm sorry, Erica. Josh doesn't seem to be able to control himself. Oh, that's right. Take the high road around Erica and then accuse me of cheating as soon as we're alone. Just drop it already. Sorry, Erica. Sam, I can't do this. <laughs> this is endless. It is endless. Sam, this relationship, it's not what I want. It's done. We're done. Josh, just sit. Josh! Did he... Did he just... Did he just break up with me? You can't just end things like that. That's not the way you end things. Hey, Sam. It's gonna be okay. Oh, Sam? Hey! I got all your favorites. I got Doritos, wasabi peas. How are you feeling? Good. Really good. Really? Definitely. Um, where's the comet? Um, you don't have to clean. Ugh, no, it's fine. I, I have all this energy. It's really weird. It's like, I, I feel so awake and alive. That must mean it was the right thing, right? Oh, definitely. I mean, I know, I know he's been cheating on me for months, and we barely talk. We definitely don't have sex. 
He called this morning. He wants me to uh, go to his apartment and pick up my stuff. I should do that. Get it over with. Yeah. Um, do you want me to come with you? Would you? Of course. Yes. Definitely. Thanks. Breakfast? Oh, you know what, Sam? I just, I forgot my cell phone. Do you want to go grab a cab? Okay. Okay. Hi. Hello. What do you think? It's very red. Yeah. I'm a real perfectionist when it comes to paint. I see a little nick and I have to just, just get in there, you know? Oh, and then I start picking away at it and before you know it, the whole thing is a big mess. I'm not getting in there. Just so you know, I am not getting involved. Didn't say you were. Staying out of it like I said I would, you know, said I was gonna do it. It was Sam's idea uh -huh. to go pick up her stuff. I'm, I'm just along for the ride. Sounds like it may be quite a ride. And I will deal with it. I mean, I, I need to do what's best for Sam. Yes, you do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. There's another crack. Ah, oh, well. Uh, there's a crack in everything. That's how the light gets in. <laughs> Leonard Cohen. Support. This place is a mess. It's not your business. I came to get my stuff. Toothbrush, purple sandals, bird mug, and the 85 Bordeaux. That we were saving for our anniversary. Yeah, yep, enjoy. Okay, Sam, let's go. You did the right thing. Did I? Because I thought I did this morning. I don't know. Hey, let's just get the hell out of here, okay? God, he didn't even say goodbye. Oh, shit. Power's up. Oh, my God. What? What day is it? Thursday, August 14th. Oh, the blackout. Oh, damn it. How could I forget about the blackout? What are, you, what are you talking about? The power's out. Hey, ladies. The power's out. What floor are we on? 22. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Eat a flashlight? Thanks. Wow. Nice place. It'll take me a minute to dig around for it. Feel free to um, hang out. Can I get you a drink? Oh, no thanks. I don't want to crash a party. The more the merrier. I'm Jeff. Sam. Erica. You know, I wouldn't mind sticking around for a bit. Red or white? Red, please. Two. Hey, Erica, what are you doing? I just, I have a feeling that the blackout might last a while. Yeah, apparently. The whole eastern seaboard is down. New York, all of Ontario, Baltimore, Detroit. <laughs> Check it out. Okay, thanks.
like everybody becomes best friends. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> Hey Sam, how are you doing just standing there? Come on, get up, dance with me. I'm, I'm okay, thanks so. though. So, you know what, she would totally love to. Erica, yeah. have fun. Okay. <laughs> I think that you did the right thing yesterday. I just want you to know that. Thanks, I'm so looking for your approval. I just think in the long run, you will both be happier, okay? And tell me to screw off. Screw off. Why do you hate me so much? I'm really drunk. You do not want me to answer that question. Yes, actually, I do. You know how I met Sam? Grade nine, I switched lockers so I could meet her. Why? Strategy, because I was... I liked this other girl that she was with, and she and Sam were really close. Okay. So you used her? Yep. To get to the girl I liked, but just... It didn't work. Things look different from up here. Don't they? Careful. Oh, hey. What are you doing? Uh, what are you doing? Josh? Uh, I'm so wasted. I am so wasted. Josh, open your eyes. Stop freaking me out. You know, and she's a great girl. My parents liked her. My friends liked her. I liked her. I just didn't love her. What? We used to have so much fun together. I kept thinking things would change, and eventually I'd start to feel it. So I faked it. But I never got there. And Sam could sense it. That's why she makes up shit about girls like Laura. I mean, I don't even like Laura. She could tell my heart's not in it. See, that's the thing. The heart wants what it wants. And from the beginning, my heart has always wanted to. Don't. Erica. No, OK. No, okay. just stop talking. I don't, I don't want to hear it, OK? I gotta, um, I gotta go find Sam, and, uh, shit. You, you do not tell Sam ever. I won't. Ever. I won't. Hey, Sam, we gotta go. Thank what? you so much for everything, Jeff. Can I borrow this? Good, thanks. Come on, Sam. Here it comes.
Come on, Sam. Here, come on. Wait, just wait. What are we doing? We have to leave now. Wait, wait, why? I was having fun. Jeff. Okay, well, um, did you did you give me your phone number? Yeah. Okay, good. Let's go. Oh, okay, wait. Why why are we going? Because it's just it's just not healthy for you to be there, to be here in in, in Josh's building. Okay, let's go. Come on. Wait, Erica. Come on, Sam. I'm sorry, Sam, but when people break up, they need space. So promise me that you will not call him, you will not email him, you will not make up excuses to come back here. Erica, I wasn't anywhere near Josh. We're 22 stories up. Why? Just you... because, okay? Come on. Thanks for your help today. Oh, no problem. Are you still feeling okay about Josh, like you did the right thing? Yeah, I think so. Good. I'm just gonna say this. We used to hang out more, remember? We used to do this all the time. What happened? I don't know. When we were little, we would tell each other everything. And then we just stopped. I mean, I feel like today has been the first day in a really long time that you've been honest with me. And I miss it. Keep doing it, okay? Promise? Okay. What do you think? T Princess Diana, right? I know, tiaras are cheesy, but... Do I look okay? You look like someone that's about to get married. Maybe. You look beautiful. You look like someone who needs to lay off the sangria. I'm the one who's supposed to be nervous here. Is Josh ready? Oh my God, can you believe I'm getting married today? still getting married. I mean, nothing has changed. Oh, well, the day after the blackout, Josh showed up with flowers, and Sam took him back pretty much immediately. The heart wants what it wants. No, but this has nothing to do with the heart. He's just using her because he's, he's too lazy or he's too scared. Or, or maybe the next day he woke up and realized he was madly in love with Sam. Yeah, well, what are the chances of that? <laughs> One way to find out, I guess. Josh, are you excited to be getting married? Are you happy? <sighs> I'm really drunk right now. Are you sure you want me to answer that question? Yeah, I'm sure. Even if you might not like the answer? Erica? Hey, hey, hey. You guys having fun? Except for that little moment with your mom. <laughs> Yeah, she was asking a lot of questions about the divorce. It was very awkward. No, it was fine. I just told her the truth. We patched things up. Good as new. That's great. Yeah, it is. Mm. You know what? We should get some champagne and celebrate. Hmm? Yeah, yeah. Uh, look, I'll meet you over at the bar in just a minute, all right? Okay. So, Ryan seems like a really nice guy. Seems into you. Erica, what's wrong? Nothing. Are you upset about Claire? Or what happened between us? I mean, are things weird now? Or no, 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 it has nothing, it has nothing to do with that at all. It's Josh. Oh. I know that this wedding, it's a terrible mistake. And I feel like I've spent so long trying to protect Sam from pain. And now I can't, I can't seem to find a way out of it. Erica, you need to make a choice, so just think about Sam. Think about what's best for her, and then you'll know what to do. Hi. Hey, 
Where have you been? Um, would you, would you ladies just give us a few minutes, please? Can you close the door, please? Thanks. What happened? Don't tell me it's something with the cake. No, 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 no. It has nothing to do with the cake, Sam. Um, but have a seat, okay? So, you know how there are some things that you just don't say? I, um, I have to say one of those things. You're scaring me. The night of the blackout? Do you remember that promise that we made to each other? That we would always tell each other how we felt and we wouldn't hold anything back? And do you remember that? Um, vaguely. Okay, well, um, I broke my promise to you that night because I didn't want to hurt you. I wanted to protect you, and I have watched you struggle to make your relationship with Josh work. And um, seeing that you had doubts this morning, it just, it made me sick. Because I, I just know, and I've always known that Josh isn't right for you. And I know that today of all days is not the day to be saying it. And I tried to keep it to myself because I didn't want to hurt you. But I realized that by keeping it to myself, I am hurting you. So I just have to say it, Sam. Please don't marry Josh. He can't make you happy. He doesn't make you happy. I mean, you, oh, you, you deserve to be with someone that really loves you and that shows it to you in everything that he does. Josh is not that guy. Come on, girls, it's time. What's wrong? Nothing's wrong. Can you give us a second, please? You're gonna head downstairs. And you're gonna watch me walk down the aisle and you're gonna stand beside me at my wedding. Welcome, everyone, to the wedding of Josh and Samantha. As you travel together over the peaks, plateaus, and valleys of life, may the journey be a joyful and fulfilling one. I would like to ask the family to take their roles. in hearing your speech and after tonight I never want to talk to you again The heart wants what it wants. It forces us to act when reason dictates otherwise. It tears down walls, breaches boundaries, and for better or worse, it leads us places that the head would never go. Um, 
Yeah. Everyone's looking for you. You gotta give your speech. Uh, you know what? Actually, I'm just um, I'm not feeling well right now, Ryan. So um, Sam knows. She, uh, she understands. I, I'm not gonna do the speech. Is there anything I can do? I just need a few minutes to myself. Please go away. I can't handle you pointing out how right you were. Because you were. I never should have got involved. I didn't help Sam. I didn't stop her from marrying a guy that doesn't love her. I just hurt her. And for nothing. No. No, not for nothing. You didn't choose the easy road. You did your job. The maid of honor is charged with protecting the bride, and that's exactly what you tried to do. You put everything on the line for your sister's happiness. Now, doing the right thing doesn't always guarantee a happy ending. But the ending is all that matters. It's, it's the whole point. I mean, so what if I did the right thing? If I, if I couldn't stop Sam from marrying Josh, I mean, what difference does it make? All the difference in the world. Da da da.